Business news, these are good times for Nigerian economy as the National Bureau of Statistics in its latest report says the country's annual gross domestic product surged by 3.19% year-on-year in the second quarter of 2024. The NBS in its GDP report released today said the growth rate is higher than 2.51% recorded in Q2 of 2023 and 2.98% in Q1 of 2024. GDP performance in Q2 2024 was primarily driven by services sector, which grew by 3.79% and contributed 58.76% to the total GDP. The agricultural sector witnessed a growth of 1.41%, slightly down from 1.5% recorded in Q2 of 2023. The industry sector also improved to 3.53% compared to minus 1.94 in Q2 of 2023. The oil sector reported an increase of 5.70% in total GDP of Q2, uh, away from 5.34% in Q2 of 2023. Non-all sector to recorded uh, 94.30% in real terms to the nation's GDP in the second quarter of 2024. Moving on in line with the strategic vision to be dynamic and reliable global energy supply of choice, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited has commenced shipment of liquefied natural gas cargoes to Japan and China on delivery x chip GES basis. In a statement made available to newsmen and signed by the Chief Corporate Communications Officer of the NNPCL, the oil company achieved this milestone through the collaboration of two of its downstream subsidiaries, NNPCL LNG Limited and NNPC Shipping Limited, who delivered its first GES LNG cargo from 174,000 meters square LNG vessel at Futsu, Japan on 27 June 2024. Delivered X ship is an international commercial term that requires the seller to deliver the product's goods at a specific port. The seller takes responsibility for shipping and insurance for products goods until they get to specified port of delivery. And NPC has been involved in LNG trading since 2021 and its first LNG cargo sale in November of that year. Nigeria and the Republic of Angola are threatening economic ties expected to generate growth and development. Efion Gekop has details. Business leaders and investors from Nigeria and Angola have met in Lagos, engaging in strategies to build businesses across the two economies. The joint meeting is facilitated by the Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Angola, Nigeria. Angola is particularly interested in welcoming Nigerian indigenous businesses in various subsectors. We have changed many things. Our embassy in Angola in Nigeria has changed the way we operate and we give visas. The embassy in Nigeria is also facilitating the visas towards the Angolans. So our relationships are starting to flow faster and better. So this is, it's, we've been shining light on information. We've been having entrepreneurs, Nigerian entrepreneurs, Entrepreneurs going to Angola. We also been having a lot of people that now understand what is Angola and how you can invest in Angola. Angolan delegation to the business meeting say their government has reformed business charter, streamlined visa acquisition and methods of profits repatriation. We need Nigerians to populate Angola because we only 30 about 38 million while you guys are almost 300 million people. So Angola is uh, by land mass bigger, 1,200,000 and so kilometers square. Nigeria is 927 kilometers square. So we need to populate Angolans with Nigerians. President of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry encourages Nigerians with genuine investment motives to consider Angola as a fertile ground for meaningful investments and businesses. We share common leadership in the oil and gas industry in Africa. We are within the Gulf of Guinea. We are members of the Gulf of Guinea institutions. And it's just two hours flight between here and Angola. And a lot of the things they produce, like oil and a lot of food items we import from other parts of the world, we can get from Angola. So there's a mutual understanding that the relationship should start to grow. High point of the meeting was signing a memorandum of agreement between Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Angola, Nigeria, and Bluestone Gas and Power Limited for the promotion of the use of compressed natural gas. If young Ecop TVC News, Lagos.